Coming up this week on The Choice. Muzzle loader, shotgun, rifle, crossbow, archery. It's our choice. Welcome to this week's choice. This week, it's the Hunter's Buffet. Buffet or Buffet? It's Buffet. The Hunter's Buffet. The Hunter's Buffet. Hunter's Buffet no, sounds cooler. No, it's the Hunter's cooler. Buffet. Okay. Just like, you know, there's all types of different buffets. There's the Chinese Buffet. There's an American Buffet. There's... Mexican? A Mexican Buffet. Freddie likes those. There's, I mean, there's all types of different buffets, and I guess buffet is kind of a big general word because we could say this is the hunter's buffet, and it could be a couple of different things. It could be a buffet of different weapons. It could be a buffet of different animals. You know, and talking about that, you know, the hunter's buffet is real simple. You can either be in ground blinds, tree stands. You can use shotgun, muzzle loaders with scopes, muzzle loaders without, crossbow. You can use what we love too, you know, the regular bows. Right. It doesn't matter. And we've played this and we've said it and we are never going to give up saying this. It doesn't matter with what you hunt. Just go out there and hunt because that's what this is all about. And trust me, I hear it a lot from him and you guys only have to watch it once a week. So let's get into this first hunt. It's Ken Krieger. Yep, landowner. South Dakota. Yep. Landowner in South Dakota and he goes for his first Miriam with a tradition shotgun. His first ever, it was awesome. Check it out. Why don't you go sit in that tree right there? Why don't you get back here and call? Okay. All Beautiful. That was beautiful. He was good to go. <laughs> yeah, I had to know. Gotta love it when the planet comes together. Beautiful turkey. <sighs> it's supposed to be Travis's turn, but we say forget it. We let you take the tradition shotgun out and look at the results. Boy, that old tradition smoked him too, I'll tell sure you. Sure did. We, we, we heard these birds down in this draw. It's been real windy all day. We heard him gobble just a couple times and I was doing the calling and strutted all the way down the hill. I didn't quite get to see the whole, the whole show because I backed up a little bit to keep pulling him on in. And he obviously took a few steps too many, didn't he? Yes, he did. I'll tell you what, the whole key to getting this bird was when you were calling there and he was hung up there about 100 yards out in that brush when you started backing up and called from back further because that made him want to come in there. Yep, made him want to come in just that little bit of extra distance and gave you that shot. Well, what do you think? Should we go give Travis a turn? You think I he's like ready? I should, but I got to say to him my collar. Absolutely, <laughs> Mr. Krieger. Thank you very much. That was an awesome South Dakota turkey hunt. Now, let's join the boys as they go up in their first ever Canadian moose hunt with Nagel Lake Outfitters in Saskatchewan. Woo! It's the travel day of our first ever moose hunting for Freddie and I. We're with Nagel Lake Outfitters and Joe and Kathy Rodwin. Just picked us up from Saskatoon and we're just in between PA and La Ronge, ready to hit the boat plane and fly another 80, 100 miles north to the camp. So we're pretty excited. We're uh, looking for the big day. bit of civilization that Freddie and I will see for about two weeks. La Ronge, Canada. And let me tell you, it wasn't very civilized, but it was as close as it's going to get. 
now we're driving so far north, we drove till the road ended. That's right, the pavement's gone and we're just on gravel now. We have about 40 cliffs to go, which is 40 kilometers, 20, 25 miles. And we should be boarding the plane here shortly. Welcome back to The Choice. Now, the guys have finally arrived in camp. Yeah, they finally got up to northern nowhere in Saskatchewan. Yes. And it's, it, <laughs> wow. It, 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 it takes some um, two days to get to where they're going, but then they finally got into a moose. So yep. you guys got to check this one out. And on their 12th day? I believe it was their 12th day of the hunt. They finally they got finally an opportunity. Got you talk about persistence. We left yesterday. Chicago here, it was 90 degrees. Look, goosebumps. It's got to be like 50 degrees up here. I'm freezing. We uh, started yesterday morning. We flew all day yesterday. We made it to Saskatoon last night. And after about six hours of driving today, we're in Missinippi, Saskatchewan. Where that's at, I have no clue. But uh, we're here at the airport where our float plane is gonna take us into camp. Folks, just so you understand, Travis, you go, buddy. That is a true 200 plus inch Canadian bull moose with the Traditions muzzleloader. Wow. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Only here for probably what 30, 40 minutes. 
Joe's up here at the point trying to get his sound going. And uh Fred and I were back here where I just I stopped just to look, you know, see now and again we're going kind of inside with the class of shores. And we can see and I look behind I could see just just I could see his tops. I looked I'm like, Freddy, there's a moose right there at the edge. Well, we got Joe's attention and Joe kept calling and here he come just on the string throwing brush we all popped out he's right there Freddie said he's on him and he gave me a quarter or two and I put it just on the inside of his shoulder and squeezed and I heard the bullet hit and uh, he stood there wobbled I reloaded I'm pretty sure he fell because I'm pretty sure I heard his lungs fill up yeah I'm yeah. pretty sure I he was he, he was trying to gasp for air so you got a lung shot anyway. He's not going far. Oh, I know that's a big bull. Yeah. Oh, he's 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 got to be 50. He's 50 plus. Big bull. Yeah, 50 plus inch. And for Western Canada moose, that's a good moose. Really good moose. Oh, yeah, that's a round. Oh, that's big. That's a big old Canadian. Good lord. I don't know. I know he was standing somewhere right in here, but I was reloading. I no, he should be back over here somewhere. Okay. Well, we'll start going right okay. through here. There he is. Right there. Yep. There he is. Yeah, baby. Right on. Woo! Yeah. Yes, sir, brother man. What a oh one. my <laughs> God! Wow. Oh. He's just... Oh my... Buddy, right on. give me some of that. Right on. He's just a awesome. stud. Look at the crap. Oh my god. I could... You can't ask for much better I could, I tell you one thing, I could never dream anything more than this. That first bull we saw a couple days ago, the little fork. Yeah. I was ready to take him. But I mean, <laughs> yeah. this is more than that yeah. I could ever ask for. Wow. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back with more of The Choice. Welcome back to The Choice. I thought I was doing that first. No, I was doing it because okay. I have to pick on Travis. Okay, Travis, go for it. You have a 50 caliper Traditions muzzleloader, and a grouse chases you and you're scared and he's not afraid of a big giant bull this is the day after he shot his giant you're talking Canadian about a bull. bird that doesn't even weigh a pound I know. it's ounces and then he screamed like a girl <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do <laughs> Way to go, Trav. Afraid of a, what, a couple ounce bird? Aye. Now let's join posse members, Randy Brander and Oliver Fisher, as they head up with efforts hunting in New Finland for woodland caribou. New fee? Can you say new fee? Randy and you have been friends for a long time, and you know yep. he can get kind of excited excited after that shot and all. And 
and something happened right after you shot that caribou. They ripped, literally, not just disconnected. They no. ripped. They tore apart the cables for the for the for the audio. He must have just jumped up or something and so pumped up, and that that happens. It happens. So we decided to add a little bit of our flavor to Randy's reaction on the audio. Hey, please don't tell Ralph I broke the audio. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, if you give me a little you. cash, I won't. You, okay, oh, thanks. Would you pack back out my bull? Oh, you know, look at this swamp. Yeah, I'm tired of this stuff. Oh my. Efforts hunting, though, truly has an incredible place here. Woodland caribou at its best. Thanks, guys, and sorry for about the audios. Welcome back to The Choice. Well, we're heading further north. Back to where it's really cold. Really, really, really where cold. Where we actually hunted our muskox up on Nunavut. With Jerome Knapp. With Jerome Knapp in Canada North. And now this time, Chris Groves, who's actually from Saskatchewan, was up there, just another hunter up there with us in camp, and he let us film his muskox what would you, hunt. What would you call him, Saskatchewanian? Saskatchewanian? S -s I don't know, but he was tall enough to be a Sasquatch. He was really, really tall. tall. Let's get the footage rolling. That's pretty much how I explain it. Well, uh, somebody that hasn't been here before, it's it's cold and it's isolated, and boy, it's, it's an experience. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It's just a, an amazing, amazing Vicky, bring me some ice water, would you please? The sun, the heat, the warm weather. Chris, are you cold up there? Because I'm not down here. Vic, hurry up. Chris Groves from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, my first muskox hunt up here in Victoria Island, Cambridge Bay. Woo! Got some good guides. Found us three nice bulls and said this was the biggest one, so we got them. He's a beauty. Wow, just gorgeous. Um, oh, they're just beautiful. They just there's there's so much hide there, and they run, and they're just it's like they're shuffling. It's just you're not sure where they where they stop and end. There's just so much hide, and they're just gorgeous. They're they are prehistoric. It's amazing, and they got so many neat colors with the light and the dark. It's just a beautiful contrast. Big head on them. Big big horns too. The big boss. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Animal. Beauty. Nice one, yeah. 
one. He straggled behind, so we got him. <laughs> Pretty happy. It's been a cold day. I think it's warmed up a little bit now. Maybe I'm just excited. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed this week's The Choice Show because it was a great hunter's buffet. 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 Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. What, I mean, what? What do you, I mean? Hooked on phonics, buddy. Hooked on phonics. I'm going to order it. We had so many different hunts though on this show. We went to South Dakota turkey hunting. We went up to Saskatchewan moose hunting. We went up to Newfoundland caribou hunting. Yep. We went up to Nunavut for muskox. I mean, Just we went for the all, Nunavut. We went all over the place for it. So I guess we just need to say we want to thank you for making your choice. The choice.